So Valuetainment just released a new video where they read this Wall Street Journal article titled The End of Work from Home for Millions of Americans. Then talks about how a recession is coming and employees have lost all their leverage. So you, you have all these people that are upset about work from home. Well, guess what? With the recession coming, it's about to be go back home. Yeah. And you could get laid off and lose your job. Well, if you don't let me work from home four days a week... I will not work for you because I got four other options. He also says when employees leveraged the job market to their advantage during COVID, it wasn't actually leverage. It was abuse towards companies. That leverage is over. You are you are so right. And it's not leverage, Tom. That abuse is over. Yes. Companies felt abused. The employee thought they had leverage. It turns out to be fake leverage. Employees job hopping and making work from home demands were being abusive to companies. In classic Pat fashion, though, he takes it a step further, and he says, remember that time back in COVID when I said, don't quit your job like everyone else? At the peak of COVID, we talked about how if you can go get a raise, go get it, go do, do you remember that conversation? Yeah, and I said, don't do it. All of that loyalty, the relationships, all of that, you lost it. It's gone, right? You don't have that anymore. The people that didn't do that, they deserve to be recognized. And they will be rewarded with more work and exploitation. According to this other study from Duke University, managers exploit loyal workers over less committed colleagues. One reason managers prey on loyal workers over others is their belief it's just the price to pay for being loyal. Those who did do that, they're paying a price today. For what? Looking out for themselves, taking a better opportunity, going to companies that are a better fit for what they want, and then being included in a mass layoff or told they have to come back to the office. The price they're paying for looking out for themselves. Great. And to back up all these claims, he says it's because he got on a call with his big banker friends, which he can't name. Let me tell you a crazy story. I can't tell you who, but you know who, and I'll tell you after the call who. Two of these biggest bankers in all of America. And they all agreed that the market's going to go down. All the big Wall Street guys are all sitting around saying there's a probably a very big, you know, uh, uh, drop off coming up here soon the next few months. We don't know how bad it's going to be. That's what all of those guys are saying together. And they're very aligned. And then he said he offered some money to these bankers and said, hey, invest it for me. We're giving him some money. Give me some options. I'm investing into things right now. You know what his answer was? We'll take the money and we'll put it in cash. And we're not buying anything right now. So for some reason, your money is safe in cash where it will get wrecked by inflation instead, I guess. I don't know. This entire video is wild, really. Let's watch the rest of it. Work from home era ends for millions of Americans. There's a quote in here that says these fully remote workers are being slowly asked to return to the office or being moved offshore. But here's the thing. They're going to move you offshore anyways if they want to save money. It doesn't matter. Your desire to go to the office will not affect your boss's decision to keep you employed locally or not. If they want to outsource, that's what they're going to do. Apple is threatening to take action against staff who aren't coming to the office three days a week, and they're going to monitor your badge to make sure that you do because they think, quote, with the recession coming, we need collaboration. Oracle <laughs> is forcing some employees to come back to the office. We've missed the benefit of in-person collaboration. And it's the same thing. Innovation, collaboration, creativity, open office. Open, collaborative. Collaborate. Collaboration. Very collaborative. For collaboration. Helps us be our highly collaborative. Foster collaboration. Where we promote collaboration. Collaboration. It's a very collaborative space for us. We constantly collaborate. Where we encourage collaboration and creativity. Woo! You've heard a thousand times before. Especially as we come into a competitive era. Bungo. Translation, recession coming. Let's get in the huddle and get shit done. Amazon's HRT sent a memo rejecting, rejected. I mean, it's Amazon. Really? Are you surprised? 30,000 Amazonians, as they prefer to be called. I doubt that 30,000 people working at Amazon prefer to be called Amazonians. They probably don't like that. We need, here it comes again, collaboration and... We constantly collaborate. Where we encourage collaboration and creativity. Woo! Ping pong is one of the funnest parts of, of my day. Our arcade game. Galaga, Frogger, Tetris, Minecraft. Here we also have our VR room. Xbox in here. Over here we have uh, a game room. I'm a gamer. Some ping pong, some shuffleboard. We have some pool tables in the back. We have, you know, foosball. A pool table, a game room. Ping pong at lunch. Ping pong table. Ping pong table, so. Pool table. What you heard in there like seven times. Collaboration, teamwork, you know, recession, tough environment. Let me tell you, you want to complain about work from home. There are Reddit threads out there right now, Pat, that are warning each other. Hey, you know, if you, you may have an opinion, but go light on it. You don't want to get targeted. If we have to do a bunch of layoffs and you're on the work from home and you've been kind of pushing back too hard against management, be careful. So there are voices on the Reddits. That are voices on the Reddits. I'm with it. I'm hip. 
He says there are Reddit threads right now, but doesn't talk about what subreddit they're on or show any links or any posts on the screen or anything. The whole argument is be a good little loyal worker bee and we'll reward you with a job. So there are voices on the Reddits that are reminding each other, yeah, show your opinion, but I don't know if I want my signature on a petition because if they're looking for layoffs, I don't want to be seen as a troublemaker. You're a troublemaker because you would prefer to work at home instead of in the office. This is what they think of you. Otherwise, you're a troublemaker. That's just how it is. You can't have your opinion. Sorry. Whereas corporations, we're about to go into recession and they're talking about getting stuff done, driving hard and building stronger businesses instead of complaining like those ungrateful workers. <laughs> so silly. Every one of those guys got on a call and we said, let's use the word collaboration. Yep. Let's throw a bunch of words against the wall. That's what it seems like, too. They just took a bunch of buzzwords, threw them against the wall. All those stories are 72 hours from beginning to end that everything no, I, I pulled, it's all together. What do you, what do you think are the chances they had a call together, that they all spoke to each other? 10,000%. Okay, I'm... Are you saying that they're agreeing to, like, manipulate the market and hiring practices and standards and buzzwords and stuff? Because that's kind of what it sounds like you're saying that these companies are doing. Let's get on a call and just agree to bring everyone back all at the same time, and we'll tell them it's because of a recession. And if they don't like it, tough. So corporations are banding together to manipulate the workforce. Let me tell you a crazy story. I can't tell you who, but you know who, and I'll tell you after the call. Why does Pat do this? He's like, I'm going to tell you a crazy story, and I can't verify any of it, but I'll tell you after this when it's not verified to everyone else, but just to you. Who? Two of these biggest bankers in all of America. According to this guy, but he can't tell us who it is. Very well-known guys. Just, we got to trust him, bro. Um, they're all very aligned, and they're all saying the same thing, that it's going to be bad, but they don't know how bad it's going to be, or when, but sometime soon, something, something fear-mongering. So then we have Tom here at the end, reinforcing some of that corporate loyalty stuff. What, what does a mercenary do? A mercenary shows up for the temporary war and then goes off somewhere else. Gets paid, they're paid soldiers. Yeah. So if people wanted to be mercenaries working for Amazon, and then Amazon now lays them off because they're like, these folks here are dedicated and working. Employees should act like mercenaries. They shouldn't be loyal. They should do what's in their best interest, what's in their family's best interest, not what's in the company's best interest. I feel like even you would say that. Man, what goes around comes around. What do you mean what goes around comes around? They didn't do anything malicious to the company by looking for a better opportunity or accepting an offer that better fits their personal preferences or their family family's preferences. There have been just as many loyal workers as there have been disloyal workers tossed into the streets via mass layoffs and recessions. According to the Duke study, it already shows there's a negative side to corporate loyalty, and it involves manipulation and gaslighting like this. You quitting a job is not doing something bad. He's basically suggesting, because you changed jobs, he's basically suggesting because you changed jobs, you got what you deserved if you got laid off or told to come back to the office. Sad to demonize people trying to do what's best for them. And just because it didn't work out if they did get laid off or told they had to come back to the office doesn't mean they're getting what they deserve. But this video exists as propaganda to tell workers otherwise. Watching this video, it's hard not to think, Tom, Patrick, do you guys even know your audience? Do you know who they are or what they want? Like, sure, you think that they're all entrepreneurs and business people and C-suite people, but I'm pretty sure a lot of them are just regular people with jobs that want to be entrepreneurs one day or are motivated by you. And when the show says things like this, it's totally out of touch. I would recommend that you stop stepping on the audience you think that you don't have. Besides, employees can still have leverage even if the market is different. It's all about how they prepare themselves, how they keep themselves up to date. Are they keeping their skills up to par? Are they applying to other jobs? What's that look like? This video is just very off-putting. It's like, sit down, buckle up, and do what your company says unless you want to get fired. Even the people on the Reddits are starting to realize corporations are right. I mean, whatever makes you feel better about your viewpoints, I guess. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know what you think. And if you find value in my content, you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out my Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Having said that, I hope everyone's doing well, and I'll see you in the next one.